Good evening, everyone. My name is An Karapoulos, and I'm the founder of Porter 21, uh, Connecticut's very own on-demand all-call delivery service. Uh, Porter 21 was conceived on the thought of optimizing the retail industry, liquor industry specifically. Uh, the way that we're doing that today is by building retail partners across Connecticut specifically and across the nation eventually. Uh, we are providing them a technology that is connecting them to a new consumer base. Uh, today we have 12 retail partners that are delivering on our behalf. Um, I will speak a little bit about how that process actually works. Um, but today we've been active for five months with 12 retail partners. Uh, five team members that are helping with community management, uh, business development, and sales. Uh, my background a little bit, uh, I studied finance. I worked in New York City for about three years. I left to work on this project full time. Uh, I was fortunate enough to grow up in a family of small business owners and specifically the retail liquor industry. So I got to see firsthand what problems they see and uh, what issues I wanted to solve. So the magical question here is how do we do it? Um, so once we bring on a retail partner that covers delivery for us in a specific area, uh, they fulfill delivery on our behalf. So when you, the consumer, go to porter21.com, you're prompted to enter your zip code. Uh, based on that location, you will be redirected to see all products available in that area, maybe wine, liquor, beer, uh, any mixers. Once you complete that transaction, you meet our $25 minimum. Uh, that order is then redirected to the retail partner that we work with in that area. Uh, they see an order via email uh, and a text message notification. They prepare that order and then send it out for delivery. Uh, they are responsible for covering uh, and confirming the identity of the person and confirming that they are at least 21 years of age. Uh, if they don't feel that that person is 21, they have every right to deny delivery. Uh, if they feel a person is too intoxicated, they can take the order back and uh, we can refund them immediately. So growth, uh, Porter 21, like I said, started in November. We started exactly November 14th. Uh, we completed that month with about $1,200 worth of transactions and uh, 20 unique customers. Uh, in the month of March, we closed off with $6,000 worth of revenue and 120 unique customers. Uh, today, uh, in the month of April, we've already outdone our March numbers. Uh, and the way that we've been growing thus far is putting a big focus on marketing over social media, obviously, and um, physical advertising, uh, going out and participating in local events. Uh, we make it a point to be part of the community and work with local partners like Hartford Prints or Yelp, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, the way that we differentiate ourselves from any of our competitors in this space is that we are taking an approach of attacking smaller cities. Uh, this is a big city idea that we're proving in Hartford, a small city. Uh, we're proving it in New Haven and other small cities that we work with. Uh, so scalability, uh, like I said earlier, we started uh, in the Hartford area. Uh, we served 16 towns initially. Month three, we decided to scale. Uh, we expanded into downtown New Haven. Uh, we're going live in the Glastonbury, Manchester area soon. Uh, working on expansion in the shoreline that's going live very soon also in the Brantford area. Uh, and most importantly, our first out-of-state expansion uh, into New Jersey, uh, Montclair, Hoboken area. So as you can see, we've created a model that can grow and move very quickly. Uh, since we're simply the technology, we're setting the partner up on our platform and then they complete the transactions for us. So we're not controlling the supply chain, we're simply providing the means for them to complete orders. Uh, the future for Porter 21, uh, we have definitely a very bright future. We've been able to show that very quickly. Uh, immediately, we want to create a mobile application before the year ends. Uh, specifically in that application, a tool that can provide recommendations based on what you're eating, uh, who you're with. And also call Hartford our headquarters. We don't have a physical office today. Uh, we're a small tech startup, so we want to be able to call Hartford our home uh, officially and have an office with a team. Uh, and continue to go up throughout the United States and show that you know Hartford created a small startup that grew and uh, will be a great technology company one day. Thank you. Guys, so how, yeah. do you, how do you make revenue? How do I how do I make, how money? make revenue? Is there a market yeah. on the product? Yeah, so one big way that we're making revenue today is we're charging a flat licensing fee for any of our retail partners.
partners uh, based on what they make. Uh, so there's a bracket system and every deal that we go out and make can be different based on location, uh, the clientele. So if they do maybe from zero to five thousand dollars worth of sales, uh, we charge a flat licensing fee, five to ten, a different amount. And uh, eventually we plan to make money via advertising routes, working with brands, maybe Anheuser-Busch, that we will cross-promote their product. They will pay us for advertising. And uh, we have some small things that are in the works right now.